Well, hello, my berries. It's me, Darkberry32. Hey, Santa, the city is covered in snow tonight. Where did my love go? We're going to the beauty supply in Burlington. Uh, Kayla, are you gonna let my pancake burn? Huh? You gonna let my pancake burn? Oh, I thought you were done. Oh, I just want one pancake. Oh. So y'all, I had good morning, everybody. We just talking. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I had some leftover um, pancake batter from Sunday in the fridge, so I decided to make myself some pancakes and some sausage. And Kayla is up, was up before 9 a.m. What's up at 7? Well, technically at 4 because I have to go to that one. Y'all, my dreams. What is going on? I had a dream about Prince. 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 Okay, I know a lot of y'all are Prince fans. I love Prince music. I do. Love Prince music. But never been a fan of him like, oh my god, girl, he's so sexy. <laughs> Baby, last night in my dream, Prince was six. And I told him too. But then I woke up this morning and said, Prince did. Why am I dreaming about dead people? Oh my god, he was so I mean, I was he brought me some exotic drink. And he was like, You ain't never had it. You ain't never had it before, he said. He looked at me on the sky. I was like, no, but I'll take one. <laughs> I just want to let you know. What? That Michael would not be happy about this. I know, because I love me some Michael Jackson, baby. Back in my day, oh, honey, and still do. But back in my day, honey, I thought he was the cutest thing on this earth, honey. I, um... Definitely better than Punch. No? His music, I loved... Both of their music, but I love Michael Jackson's music more than I had loved Prince. But baby, I thought I was gonna marry Michael Jackson. I really did. I had all his posters up in my room. Mm -mm. That wasn't gonna happen. Um, I need another battery for this before it cuts out. I thought you just did. I have them all charged. I don't know. I bought these new batteries, and they don't last worth nothing. I guess that's why they give you three of them. They don't want to last for nothing. So I'm going to change up my battery and get my breakfast on. Be back. <laughs> All right. Breakfast is served for me, honey. I'm going to take this over to the sofa. I'm going to sit in front of that computer. And I'm going to drink this cocoa coffee concoction. And I'm going to do what I do, baby. Bye. All right, Angela, this is for you. So, um, one of my subscribers and friend and ex-co-worker wanted to know about this bar area. Um, I spoke about my bar a while back. Um, it kind of started because I saw something on um, Facebook Marketplace that I wanted to buy. It was this tall kind of like baker's rack and I was like oh my god I could use that for my bar well by the time we bid on it or whatever it was already gone someone had already purchased it and I was just animate about getting something for my bar because what we used to have for our bar was this little thing right here guys it was like we had uh, we had it I think sitting over here in this area and then we would have like you know a few little bottles here and there we would have bottles inside um, it really wasn't the best setup. So we ended up getting this from at home, I believe. We got it from at home. It's a small half baker's rack. And then we went on a cruise. <laughs> and when we went on a cruise, they have tons and tons and tons of deals on alcohol on and off the ship. And so um, that combined with going to Total Wine, we just have lots of liquor. As you can tell, I really do have my house set up for guests. I love to entertain and this gives me a way to entertain where I'm not so bogged down with doing things for everybody. Of course, we don't let everybody 
find their home in our bottles, but we set out a few bottles, you know, maybe over in this area when people come and have cups and ice and all that kind of sit to the side and we kind of choose what kind of cocktails we want to have for that evening or if we want to do shots and stuff like that. So I'll just kind of go through, I have these cups sitting here. I'll just kind of go through, um, I don't know, I guess what we have, I guess that's what Angela wants. Um, so one of the first things here is UV cherry vodka and my best friend loves cherry vodka so that was one of the reasons I got that. She usually couples that with uh, I think like Diet Coke or something. And then we have um, the Catch Fire Cinnamon and it's almost like um, Fireball but it's a little sweeter and I don't really care for it. My husband does because he doesn't like Fireball. So he likes the sweet stuff. Um, the blue raspberry vodka, that was something my daughter likes. Um, then, of course, we have um, some good bourbon here, Maker's, uh, Maker's Mark. And I fell in love with bourbon when we went to uh, New Orleans and they had like this bourbon drink. And I don't even think, yeah, have we cut, I don't even know if we've cut the seal on this sucker yet. But anyway, and then my husband loves, loves, loves Crown. Uh, we have Black Crown. We have a salted caramel crown. We have apple crown and a vanilla crown. I think that's it for the crown. And then, um, of course, you gotta have Tito's vodka. Um, I think this is something left over, a Remy Martin. I think my brother, I think my brother had that and left it here. Um, and then, of course, when you go on cruises, this pure white Hennessy is a thing. Everybody loves it. I'm afraid of it <laughs> because I feel like it, it must be really potent. And plus, I'm just not a, a cognac type person. I don't do cognac. I like white liquors, clear liquors. You know, that that's kind of my thing. Sometimes I'll dibble dabble in the crown, but not very often. But I do love me the taste of bourbon. I love me some bourbon. Um, we got this Appleton when we went on a cruise. It was like 20 bucks for this entire bottle. And I think it's been open made. I think we've only used it maybe once. We don't, we, we're, we're, we are social drinkers. We don't drink a lot. Like, I mean, I may have a, a margarita or a glass of wine or something like that when people are not around. But for the most part, that's why we hold on to our liquors because we don't just, I don't know, we just don't partake a lot. Now this right here, there's a story. This is a rum from Jamaica. They call it White Lightning. My husband took a shot of this. We were in Jamaica and hardly couldn't recover because it was so potent. And uh, yeah, you see it still has a seal on it. We have not opened that. I don't know if we will ever open it. I'm not even sure. We might and then go back to Jamaica one day and get another bottle. I don't know, but they said stuff is potent. Um, then we got a bunch of Bacardi's, but it looks like I'm running out of my Bacardi. I think I had at least four Bacardi's, but right now we have pineapple Bacardi and, uh, black Bacardi. Don't even know what it tastes like. Got it because, you know, you just never know people's taste if they come to the house and they want it. We got some Ciroc here. We got like five bottles of Ciroc. This is the French brandy Ciroc. Um, I guess it's made with French grapes right here. Then we have the Summer Colada. I like this one a lot. We have the Apple Ciroc. We actually have two Apple Ciroc's. And I actually mix this with like apple juice and like a um, like a, a bubbly water or seltzer. And it's really good. And then we also have a peach Ciroc that has not been opened. Um, we also have a peach Svetka as well. And then um, these, this like here is like a, a margarita mix, but it's like a zero calorie. So if anybody's looking to, you know, they don't want to use so many calories on mixed drinks, then I have that here. Um, we have Chi Chi's Mudslide. When we went on vacation, my husband fell in love with mudslides and introduced it to the family and they love them too. So that's why I have these two big bottles, but the pandemic hit and I was not able to make, you know, use it. But it's here when, you know, things open up again and people come back over. This is a, a hit. People love this because I like to mix this with, oh gosh, what do I mix it with? I think sometimes I'll mix it with a little rum and um, maybe some of the, um, oh gosh, I can't even think. 
it's like a like a Bailey's or something that I'll mix with this as well and ice and then I'll put chocolate syrup in the glass and especially if you put it in a glass like this that's see-through and you can see the swirls of chocolate all over and then sometimes I'll top it with whipped cream or whatever so it's a real like dessert type of a drink but people love it they love it um, and then this here is a funny story um, when I worked at my last company, somebody had this in their drawer and they didn't want it. And so um, they said that we could have it and I took it. So we got that. And then, um, of course, Grand Marnier for, to top your margaritas. 1921 is one of my mom's favorites to take like little sips of. It's like a, a coffee creamy type of a um, drink. And then um, I have the uh, vermouth and the bitters for... Um, martinis and then watermelon schnapps i make this drink called a watermelon drink and i'll mix that with um i think it's watermelon vodka or something like that in sprite and it's so 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 good very refreshing for the summer and then you know we have like our corkscrew here um ice bucket for ice i actually got that that's a waterford ice bucket that i got at a garage sale and I absolutely love it. And then, you know, we have like, you know, our little neutral bullet, books on drinks, straws, shakers, you know, um, we have our um, koozies for our beer, stirrers for your drinks. And then we also have like, I have these cups from last Christmas and um, from one of the um, Christmas markets that we have here. So, yeah, this is it. And then right here we have, um, so if you need to open up your beer, you can pop your beer in the top. We'll lay in right here with everything else. <laughs> and then I found this um, picture, I think, at like, I don't know, at home or TJ Maxx or something like that. But I thought it was kind of cute to hang over. And then we got this when we were on a cruise. And then my niece actually got me this clock here for my birthday and I thought this was the perfect spot for it you know with all the alcohol and everything like that and then I told you guys about me building these shelves I built these shelves for all of our glasses so they're readily available and you know we're good to go so that is our bar and like I said I have it set up because I just love to entertain and you know, it's just easy. It's easy. You have it out. You know what you got. Um, people will see what you have. And, oh, can I have a drink of this? Sure, go ahead. Why not? And then, of course, in here, we have bottles of wine. I have nine bottles there. And I think I have only eight here. So, yeah. That is it, guys. That is it for <laughs> our... Um, bar section and then I also have uh, I didn't show oh, I didn't show you guys this of course we have another uh, corkscrew and bottle opener but we also have here and put this here we also have little samples of bottles of different types of drinks or alcohol so let's see let's just dig in here and see what we have first of all 49ers yay we'll put you Maybe you can sit in there. <laughs> so, um, like we have apricot flavored vodka. We have more crown. Jim Beam honey. Um, what is this one? Oh, this is a bourbon that I mixed. I made like this milky bourbon drink that we had in uh, New Orleans. It was so good. Here's some more of that cat catch fire. Um, this is a, a chocolate cream I don't know we just got to do here <laughs> and here's an apple schnapps what else what else what else we have so much stuff in here guys more Jim Beam honey I don't know why this what is this from I don't know why that's in here Let me throw that away um what is this oh some more bourbon y'all love that I know it's something about the smell of bourbon that I really like and I found a great fondness for it um, like I said, when we were in New Orleans, so yeah, that is it. That is it, guys. Um, I also have a cutting board here, um, you know, to cut limes and lemons and stuff like that. And there was something else over here. Oh, and then we have our little snacks and you know, treats for you know, like bar snacks and stuff back off in there, pub mix. 
And then this here, I have my koozies in here, and it actually has three compartments. Let me see if you guys can see that. It actually has three compartments, and what I usually do with that is I'll put like cherries and limes and lemons. I'll have those all cut up and ready to go sometimes when we have people over when we know we're going to have certain cocktails. So that is it. That is it. <laughs> I like to entertain. So, of course, this whole pandemic thing is just driving me insane. Um, but, yeah, this is it. Um, we have, you know, bar napkins, little saucers for our derby type stuff. A pitcher, of course, if I wanted to make a whole pitcher of margaritas or a whole pitcher of mudslides and I don't have to mix them over and over again. This is what we have. So, yeah. Glad you asked. If there's other stuff that you guys want to know about. Um, I think you want to also know about my seasonings. Huh. <laughs> so... This is a good seasoning for like if you want to make some fried chicken wings and you want like that dry rub spicy flavor. Um, it's called Chupacabra. Don't know if it's carried all over, but I know I get it from my local HEB. Um, then we have like an Italian type seasoning that I got from um, TJ Maxx, the um, not at home. Is it at home? What is it? Oh, Home Goods. So sometimes look at those uh, places like Burlington. Um, home goods, places like that, they'll have uh, nice little seasons that you don't find in your grocery store. Um, my sister-in-law gave me this um, for like Indian cuisine, which I don't cook Indian cuisine, but maybe I'll find a recipe. She gave me a book to find recipes in. Of course, you got your cumin, um, the Creole seasoning, ground cinnamon. Here's our popcorn salt for popcorn. I told you guys about this. This is like everything to me right here. That Uncle Chris's steak seasoning, ground cinnamon per vanilla. I also get this vanilla when I go to Mexico on trips. So um, I have a bunch of that, a bunch, a bunch. Um, I have nutritional yeast seasoning. I was using this when I was a uh, vegan and I would make cheese sauce out of this, but this is also good to add like on popcorn. It's really, really delicious. Oh my God, so I do have some. And I, <laughs> I was just looking for this. I have uh, taco seasoning so that I don't have to worry about the packages. Um, uh, liquid smoke for various things. Um, pinto bean seasoning, but guys, I also use, like, you don't have to always use your seasonings for exactly what it's for. You can use it for all different types of things. And sometimes when I make cabbage, like, um, sauteed cabbage, I'll use this and it gives it such a great flavor. And I know some of you people are like, what? That's sacrilege. No, it's not, honey. It is good. Um, and then I have more of the Uncle Chris's seasoning, but this is for fish. If you want to season your fish with this. But like I said, sometimes I'll just use like um, the fish fry to do my seasonings and stuff with when I do um, fish. But, you know, this is really good too. It has like sort of a lemony type taste to it. What else do we have back here? We got oregano, paprika, um, some more Italian seasoning, some more, uh, I'm trying to get it here, Southwest fajita seasoning and parsley flakes and sometimes I like to add parsley flakes on top of things just to give it a pretty look like if you want to do chicken parmesan and sprinkle that on top of it it really looks really festive and pretty um I'm trying to see guys I think that's it for oh of course I, oh, I have a, a Goya adobo this is good for on anything um Again, like if you want to make some chicken wings and like put them in the oven or little drumettes and just do a, like a oven fry, like in your oven and you just season it with this. Oh my God, it's so good. Such good, good, good flavor. I'm not kidding you guys for one bit. I would not lie to you. Um, more oregano and then onion powder um, in here as well and more cumin in the back. Now... The majority of the seasonings that I use all the time are sitting right here. And you got your salt. You got your Uncle Chris's seasoning. You got your pepper. And then I did a blend right here, which is onion powder and garlic powder mixed. So these are the four main ingredients that I use like on a daily basis. And then if I need any other seasonings, I know to go here in my cabinet so thanks Angela for the great question I hope I have uh, given you enough information to satisfy you honey dear I really appreciate those questions and guys remember I do film on the exact same day 
So if you happen to post something as far as in my comment section and I'm actually filming and I see the question, I'll go ahead and address it right then and there. So again, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Look at our friend, y'all. She's sitting right next to me while I'm working. Your mommy's friend? Chloe. Chloe, are you mama's friend? Your mama's friend. Yeah, you mama's friend. You want to say hi? Why are you all on edge? Why are you on edge? Kayla is not around. She's been messing with the wrapping paper at, at night, y'all. Kayla had two rolls of wrapping paper and one ended up in the middle of the living room. So she must have been playing with it at, at night. But that's Mama's kitty. Do y'all see how beautiful? Let me show you how beautiful this kitty is. Say, I'm so beautiful. I'm so beautiful. Look at my pretty, my pretty coat. I'm so beautiful. Are you beautiful, Chloe? Are you beautiful? Are you? He doesn't want to talk right now, guys. She's trying to take it all in. This cat is something else. Say bye. Bye. You're not going to say anything? Okay. All right. We're going to leave her alone. Hey, y'all. Using our new bags. I'm hungry. And, um, I'm just eating some popcorn for a snack. Working and watching TV all at the same time. I'm not cooking today. <laughs> but I'm hungry. I think Earl C is gonna go out and get dinner. I think I know what I want now. For some reason, I want fried chicken. We don't eat fried chicken around here enough. <laughs> I want some fried chicken. My ball to just step when he gets off the phone. Fried chicken. Maybe mashed potatoes or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I want. So, I'm like, why is that box moving? That scared the crap out of me. biting on the box. I put her in it earlier. I thought cats like boxes. Yeah, we see you. And if you're wondering why that box is in the, why the box is in the living room. Another gift arrived for my niece. Um, I pulled her name for Christmas. Um, Jasmine, so her gift came, and so I might go out this weekend and give out all the gifts to my family, you know, so we'll see, we will see, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and say hi and I'm eating popcorn. All right, guys, so I thought I would come outside to sign off. Um, it's 4.42. The sun is about to go down. Thought I'd show you outdoors. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know it wasn't very extensive today, um, but I like the idea of uh, giving me ideas of what you guys want me to talk about. Um, Angela, thank you again for asking about our bar. I hope you guys enjoyed that content. Um, but if this is your first time coming along, go ahead and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Also, I want to say thank you to everyone that is subscribing and commenting and all that. Um, and because I, I enjoy actually putting your names at the end of the videos. I'm not sure who I'm going to put today. I think I'm running out of people. But anyway, uh, go ahead and comment below, guys, and I'll be sure to respond back to you all. Thank you again for tuning in. And this is end of...
day nine of vlogmas yes all right guys talk to you later bye bye Sing along.